<laughs> Solution. <laughs> Live at home. Suck the teeth for as long as you can. Listen. It'll pay off. Golf. Weed. Sober clubbing. Your mama's food. It's over. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God's mad at me. God's mad at me. Wait, pesticides? Welcome to episode 3 of Chats in the Garden. I'm Shaheem and Jesse. And I'm Kevin Nowaki. And today we're going to be talking about the transition from being a child into adulthood and how to deal with your parents. Yeah! I've been training for this topic in particular. Oh, I thought that was a horse. Sorry. So... I'm 23, I still live at home. And I'm 24 and I still live at home. And we are recovering living at home addicts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically, dude, it's kind of, it's kind of hard uh, living at home, right, sometimes? I mean, it's gotten a lot better, but... Oh, maybe not. <laughs> no, I think it's getting progressively worse. That's <laughs> <laughs> each day goes <laughs> Well... The issues at hand are we're trying to live our lives and expand and do what we love, but our parents are trying to tell us otherwise and telling us to, you know, go to college, do this, do that, be an accountant, work here, make money, and then we're trying to do what we love, but they can't really see that, and sometimes that causes tension in yourself. (laughs) Yeah, tensions within yourself and with your parents. I'm not doing it. What am I thinking? This is stupid. This is really dumb. I'm not doing it. I'm doing it. Yo, what's up, Gamis? Dude, I got some crazy news. Good, man. Everything's good. Actually, everything's really, really awesome. You never believe what I did. What happened? What's the good news? So, dude, I did it, man. Remember, I told you I was having second thoughts about my job. No way, you didn't do that. You too much of a bitch. You're just pulling my finger. Dude, I actually quit, man. I did it! It's over! I walked in there and I told that son of a bitch, I said, you are the worst boss anybody could ever have. And I said, I quit. I ain't working anymore for you. I'm done. No way, dude. That's freaking awesome. And then I said, I told him, I told him, I would never act out of fear again. Straight up. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yep, life is good now. Dude, that's great to hear. Dude, Dude let's go out and celebrate uh, later. I gotta go to sleep. I gotta go to my 9 to 5 tomorrow. You fucking loser. <laughs> oh, alright, dude, let's hang out later, man. I got nothing to do tomorrow. Oh, oh man, I didn't know you were home. Hi. Who is that on the phone? Oh, that, that, that was my friend Genghis. What were you talking about? 
Oh, nothing. We're just, you know, talking about guy stuff. Is there something you want to tell me? Uh, no. Why? I heard you talking about you quit your job. Is it true? Uh, yeah, I quit. Yeah, I quit my job. And you know what? It felt good. I feel good. I will never act out of fear again! I'll show you fear. Bessie the gay, kiss off head! I wasn't so bad. Finish him. As long as you're under your parents' roof, and as long as you're financially dependent on your parents, in a way, y you have to obey them, and you're obligated to live under their house rules. Yep. So for any of you trying to like rebel, and you're like, oh, I have my rights, and all that, yeah. as long as they're paying for stuff, sorry. You don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you have to like ultimately like respect them. Because, like, put yourself 30 years fast forward, like, when you have kids. And, and you fucking providing for them. You're paying for all their stuff, their gas. And their, they're like, I'm not going to do what you want. Yeah. Fuck you. That's a big no. Now I'm telling them to get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> get the hell out. <laughs> so what's the solution? Get the fuck out. <laughs> Another problem that I see first is, like, they try and take up a lot of your time when you're home. Especially with the busier you get. Yeah. And the closer you are to that independence, they're going to be like, Oh, come over here. Let me show you this real quick uh, on the TV or whatever. Or, you know, uh, come to this party. Oh, come on. And then they guilt try and guilt trip you and then all that stuff. And Malaysian parties happening every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and these uh, temporary pleasures are fun and all, but they ain't going to lead to anything if you keep doing that every freaking weekend, you know? Yeah. They're kind of at a, at a point in their lives where they're, like, getting closer to retirement. Yeah. That's their yeah, mindset. And then our mindset is more like, dude, we need to hustle, man. Right. Like, we need to just, like, work all the time and just, like, don't stop and just, like, yeah. yeah Low-key, dude, do you ever feel like they're, like, they might be like kind of scared that you're moving on from them yeah like, you know that kind of vibe just like yeah i feel that too because i think like, oh no I'm, I'm losing my baby yeah there's some parents like that i feel like yeah my parents and they'll like, like try and like slow you down to like hang out as much as they can like pretty much just squeeze as much as they can out of you these last final years before you transition into full adulthood yeah Cause after this, it's what it's moving out, de like independence. Yeah. And, like you're doing. What once they're you're. Miss you. Once you're financially independent and once you're living on your own and living your own life, like, yeah, you're not gonna. They be can't tell you what to do no more. Yeah, it's it's your life at that point. And uh, dude, then moving on from that, you know, once you get like a girlfriend, you get married, then like it's completely done. You have your own life set up. So like yeah, like you said, like this is kind of the last. They're getting their little <laughs> damn garden. <laughs> <laughs> their last little squeezes of drops out of you. Okay, let's also talk about the negative aspects, like negative qualities of some parents, like especially parents who are like overprotective. 
or like parents like like you said like they don't want you to leave so like they're trying to like entice you you know they're like we'll pay for this like they the over babying you like you know like just it's a trap finger. dude it's a trap <laughs> it's a trap man it it's is. just they're like, giving you the tea and you just you just like suck on it and so that you're never <laughs> independent <laughs> you never just you never get to fully leave because you're just so dependent on them <laughs> yeah that's Dude, that that's yeah i think that's a and lot then of you start just smoking weed and drinking and you just don't some people would just be like oh i like this i don't have to work anymore and just Dude, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna just like chill and in in a you know and then you become so dependent and, and 10 years go by and you're like oh crap man i didn't do anything for these past 10 years except smoke weed with my buddies and accept cash from my parents man yeah and just work and some just like work, part-time yeah, job some so part-time. you don't feel bad yeah. about yourself. Oh you're, you're man, you're not doing anything like, meaningful. They could be like a really bad cycle, dude. Yeah, I think that that is literally like a trap that one like people need to be conscious of because yeah, I feel like parents like for like our generation like they just like to spoil us and like baby us. And like you said, put the tea out there. For <laughs> you to suck on it. Yeah, and... and cause like, by doing that... <laughs> cause by doing that, like, you're gonna stick around, man. And then they're like, yeah, this is great. We have our kids with us. Like, we keep, we're keeping the family together. But yeah. honestly, at the, in the end of the, at the end of the day, you're just hurting yourself and your family. Yeah, especially if you really want to do what you love, man. And if it doesn't fall in line with what they want, mm-hmm. you got to go extra hard to fucking, you know, get out there and push yourself and a- achieve that, that goal. Yeah. Whatever's in your heart. There's also the aspect of like, okay, you have, you're not paying rent and like you have a lot of expenses covered for so some some people might like take advantage of that and they might just like go out with their friends like you know at night and just like you know just waste their time dude because they don't have to hustle to pay rent and hustle to cover all their expenses and stuff because their parents are paying for it this is the time like if you're not paying for all that stuff it's a perfect opportunity for you to build assets dude to go hard on things that isn't going to pay you up front build up a savings so you can like go out and start that business with that and like you could afford that upfront cost yeah and, you know yeah it's a perfect time to bi- build something that will it's not going to pay you now but can potentially pay you in the future like basically take advantage of the fact that your parents are helping you and go hard yeah don't take it for granted don't take it for granted because i feel like it's really easy to fall into that trap and you go play golf twice a week <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're talking about other people we're not talking about ourselves smoking weed playing golf sober clubbing uh smoking, smoking god's good green herb. <laughs> 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 and just uh, enjoying life all together honestly <laughs> honestly that shit was awesome <laughs> Uh, what are we talking about right now (laughs) live at home (laughs) suck the teeth so let's start talking about the solutions okay so solutions for one be open with your parents be honest let them know what's in your heart let them know what you want to do they might not understand at first but hopefully they understand eventually and if they don't understand sorry (laughs) <laughs> yeah, just to add, pretty much. Just but to yeah, I mean, you that. did your part on being honest. <laughs> for for me, like, I didn't want to tell my parents, like, you know, that I I was planning on like, you know, maybe like creating a YouTube channel or creating some online source of income. That's ultimately my goal: creating online source of income, helping people online in some way or fashion, so that I can be independent of my location, and just you know, making money that way. So like. I was always like, scared to tell my parents that because I just didn't want them to reject that idea and then like that would just like crush my soul and then I'd just be like I would oh, never God, live that's up to not gonna work. <laughs> yeah. And you're just like afraid of not living up to what they want. Yeah, like I was always so scared of like people just like especially your parents, dude. You ca- cuz like you care what your parents like, it's anyone you like care like whose opinion it's it's your parents, dude. Like you don't want like to let your parents down, you know. But like once I actually was like honest with my parents, and like while I was working a job that I didn't like, and I was like, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. 
I think they had some more like understanding and stuff and like actually ended up helping me that might not be the case for a lot of people but like in my case like it was actually like helpful that I actually told them like what I was trying to do and stuff and like they're like oh okay if there's ways to I can help you then you know blah 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 so yeah it's, I think it's good like just always be honest dude don't like beat around the bush like it just makes you look suspect and like sketchy and yeah you just don't want to have that relationship with your parents I feel like <laughs> so at least you just be open and like okay if they like completely reject it then like that's you know that's their problem and then it's up to you. You should probably just try to get the fuck out of your yeah, house. Be open. And then I guess the other part of the solution is just, like, work your ass off for your goals. Work your ass off for your goals. Like, Take if you actually want to be financially independent. Like, I know it's hard at first to do what you want and your parents might not agree. But, like, you have to still, like, work hard at it if yeah. you truly want that. The last solution would be move out. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> In conclusion... We need to get the hell out of our houses.